and Amy is going to talk for a little while. And here is Amy. Mama, oh, school's going away, and I like a lot, really. And everything's going right, really. And, uh, mm, please, you know, going on a field trip, uh, this is me. Friday, Friday, going on a field trip to Apple Hill. And, um, I really want to go pretty soon. And, what? Oh, new pajamas. They're pink, have a little pool on them. And there's a dorm and that night brown, brown soft blanket <coughs> we have. They're real, they feel like a rabbit. I just feel like a rabbit. Like a nice, fat rabbit. Yeah, okay. Well, my boom. Um, so it's all doing okay. Everything's doing quite okay. I like it. And today, my teacher, um, our teacher told us at I was real surprised when she said field trip because that's what I really like. We had one at kindergarten, in kindergarten. We went to a park. We had lunch there. And, uh, yeah. yeah. See, Scarlet's Web, we're going pretty soon now. <coughs> and it's, it's a, so about, like, all the animals talked. And like cam, a uh, their camel, no pig, pig a dog, cat. And Charlotte is a spider. Charlotte is a spider, and she can can she talk? Yeah. And the spider can also talk. And I can't think anything to say. I have to go. Okay, Amy's gonna stop for a little bit. She um. I just got through doing little exercises. Uh, Bonnie and Sarah, I guess Amy was doing them for a little bit too. Um, not too much is happening around here. It's quite hot out here, actually. All the uh, 80s. And in the valley, like Sacramento, it's probably in the 90s. Uh, in your letter, you said it was snowing out there, so probably it is very, very different here than what is going on there. But then all of a sudden, it could change here and get real cool. I have kind of a cold, so... But... What are you getting? Oh, what is that? Sharon Olson. Oh, for Sharon Olson? Oh, good. A little present. Going to take it tomorrow? Good. Um, kind of gotten a cold here. I've been coughing a lot. Last night it was really hard for me to go to sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I don't know how good I'll be able to talk here. I just keep coughing. I can't really lay down, so I try and kind of sleep into the chair. Then I finally came out uh, where you slept out here in the in the room here, and I guess I managed to sleep. Felt like I didn't sleep all night, but I I guess I did. Um, last Saturday, Jim Myers came over and we took out the bricks that I had laid, I did a really bad job, and he he's doing it over again for me. And uh, boy, does that look nice. It is so different, I can't believe it. We were able to salvage all the bricks almost that I used 
oftentimes when they, they tear out brickwork, they can't salvage too much. But the bricks that I had had were really, really good ones. And it was possible to just t take them out. He has the tools to do it and uh, put them back. I got some other bricks, about 30 uh, lighter ones. So he's put them in there every, every now and then. So he got about half done. He didn't feel too good, so I kind of hated it. He came over, but he wanted to. So um, it's about half done. We're going to take it up higher and also make it uh, uh, bigger, like around the bottom. It's really going to be nice. So hopefully we'll, um, we'll get that done. We can't do it this week because we're going to Matt and Pat's, not Matt and Pat's, we're to Walnut Creek to see Matt and Pat. So we're going to have to wait on that. Well, Rachel is getting another tooth kind of on the bottom. Boy, she is going, she has kept up where she kind of was going when you were here, Mom. Tonight she's just tearing around here, just laughing so hard. She had this pillow and <clears throat> she was just taking it real fast over her head and falling over and going real crazy around here. She uh, she goes so quick. Before you know it, she's taken off and away from you. Um, that tooth is just barely out, so it won't be too long. It'll be coming right now. Uh, let's see. I can't think of too much to say. Uh, we're really not doing too much, just not really too much at all. Um, maybe I'll stop for a little bit. Maybe I can think of a few more things to say. Okay, somebody just came and sat on my lap. Who are you? Are you talk to Grandma Orr. Say hi, Grandma Orr. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma Orr. Okay. You're talking to it like this. Say hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? My name is Sarah. Mine too, Sarah. I sure do miss you. Me too, too. Hope you come see me soon. Please, soon. I love you. I love you. I got my red pajamas. Too much. Oh, yes, and I have my red socks. Okay. No, you hold it like that. No, you don't do that. Okay. Say, I have my red socks. Red socks? Yeah. Grandma Orr sewed those socks for you. Hi, Ma. Hi, Daddy. What? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> what is this? Daddy, Ma. Daddy, I mean. Oh. Hey, what, 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 what is your name? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Mama, come on, Daddy, come on. Mama, come on, Daddy, come on, Amy, come on. Mama, what's that? <coughs> okay, what else you want to tell Grandma Orr? No, you don't do that. What else you want to tell Grandma Orr? Oh, yes. Hello. Sarah went to the fire tower. Hello. You talked to the lady way up high. Yeah. What, what, did, what did you tell her? Did you say, hello? Hello. Uh, hey, and you went for a walk? Uh. Yeah. Sarah went for a walk the other night with Mom and with Amy. Remember, you waved to me. I was standing at the window. Bye-bye. You said, bye-bye, Dad. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye-bye, Daddy. Right. And you blew a kiss to me? Oh, like this. Right. Sarah just got through taking a bath. Oh, she smells so good. Mmm, smells very <laughs> good. Very good. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's this? Uh, this is a microphone. Okay. That's a button. Okay. It's a word letter off.
on GE, General Electric. What's it? That's a cord. What's it? No, that's a cord. What's this? No. Okay. That's your nose? Where's your eyes? Right. Where's your cheek? Right here. Your cheek. Cheek. Where's your chin? Right. Where's your teeth? Right. Where's your mouth? Huh? Mouth. Right. Where are your ears? How many ears do you have? How many? Two ears. Hey, how old are you, Sarah? How old is that? Padabar. What? Padabar. Padabar? Uh. Oh, what is that? Padabar. <laughs> I said, how old are you? You're two years Udama. old. What? <laughs> You're two years old. Pudama. Oh, no, Pudama. <laughs> Pudama, where are you? Pudama, where are you? Pudama's in Colorado. Pudama, where are you? She's in Colorado, far uh. away. She went on an airplane. Uh. Very, very far. Remember, you took her down to the airplane? Yeah, she went very far. The airplane went ooh, way up in the air. Oh, yeah. Hey, you came on an airplane all the way from Korea. Hello. <laughs> oh, you're joking. No jokers. Okay, it is time for these guys to get ready for bed. Me? Oh, beautiful, huh, Sarah? Me. me. So pretty. It's for Amy's friend. Okay, we can stay up a little more because Sarah is, Amy has to take a bath. Okay, come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up by Dad. Amy, Dad, the peel. Amy, Dad, Yeah. Now, Amy's got to take a bath. Amy's turn. Amy, Dad, the peel. No, because after she takes a bath, it's time to go to bed. Go to bed. Oh, yes. Yes, and Sarah has to give me a kiss every night when she goes to bed. And we blow kisses. And we go like this, remember? Oh, yes. We like salute, like in the uh, army. Oh, that is so much fun. Hello. No, <laughs> you don't put this up to your ear. <laughs> oh, don't joke. Hello. No, <laughs> no jokers. No jokers. Hello. No jokers. <laughs> Hey, where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Hello. She's taking a bed. She's sleeping. Rachel, you get the bottle. Rachel. Rachel. Rachel has her bottle. Uh. <coughs> where's your dolly? No. Where's your dolly? Yeah. Yeah. Rachel is playing with the dolly that Grandma Orr made her. Uh. And she's carrying it around. <coughs> Yeah, she was carrying it around. Mm. What else could we tell Grandma Orr? Mm. <coughs> oh, I keep coughing. I'm kind of coughing. Mm. Uh, mm. Let's see, what else could we tell Grandma Orr? Uh, what did you do today? Did you play outside? Yeah. Right, because when I came up, some of the kids who were, were here for piano lessons took Sarah for a ride in the stroller. That was fun, huh? Yep. What's that? What's that? Uh. What? That's a curtain, I think. What's that? What's that? That's a window. What's that? That's a plant. What's that? Pictures. What's that? Ceiling. What's this? What's this? Uh, oh. Arm. Oh, yes. Tell Auntie Marley, Sarah. Uh. Here, turn around this way. Uh. Turn around. Turn around this way. Okay. Say, thank you for my purse. Thank you for my purse. Auntie Marley. Auntie Marley. Oh, yes. Great. Sarah loves the purse. Not the purse. She takes it to Sunday school and puts her money in it. Huh? She takes her money to Sunday school. Okay, we're going to say hi now to everybody, okay? Okay. 
Hi, Nanette. Hi, Nanette. Hi, Say Nanette. It. Hi, Wesley. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Gina Lee. Hi, Susanne. Hi, Auntie Marilee. I'm going Take your fingers out of your mouth. Huh. Hi, Auntie Marilee. Hi, Daddy, Tommy. Uh, hi, Pudama. Oh, oh, no. She already said Pudama too many times. Pudama. <coughs> Pudama went on the airplane. <coughs> Pudama. No, no. <laughs> Grandma Orr. Grandma Orr. Pudama Orr. Right. Okay. That's my watch. Say, look, that's my watch. Watch it. That's Dad's watch. Hey, Sarah, you want to talk to Grandpa? Yeah, okay. Go in my mom and talk to Grandpa. Oh, just a minute. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's Grandpa's birthday. Uh, hey, let's sing happy birthday to Grandpa. Uh, okay? Okay, uh, here we go. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Good. You want to sing it again? Oh, no. You don't blow out the microphone. No, no, no. Okay, let's sing it again. Okay, ready? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Well, uh, today is Thursday, October. I think it's the 14th, but I'm not sure. Wait, Sarah, I'm going to talk for a while. And uh, I, I just got... Um, uh, well, I, ha I got the pictures that you wanted back earlier in the week on Monday, and then I got another one that I got for you. Um, I just got that today, so I wanted to get a tape made, and then I'll send it with the pictures. We got um, both your letters. Just got one yesterday that told about uh, Jean's brother dying so suddenly, and I don't imagine that was very good for, um, for um, Vernon's situation, being sick. Um, anyway, uh, it was really too bad. Their family, it seems like, is being hit all at once there. And then with Jean being sick again. Uh, we're having record-breaking heat here, and it was uh, Janice said that, that day that you went back that she saw the, on the news that night that it had snowed in Colorado Springs. And I hadn't seen that but she said that and then you wrote and said it was snowing when you got there so with that kind of weather it's really hard to imagine that it was um, you know winter like back there it gets cooler at night kind of not really cold or anything but the days are you know Sacramento it's been in fact in San Francisco it was 91 or something broke all records do you want to say something hi grandma mama Say hi, Marilee. Hi, Marilee. Auntie Marilee. Auntie Marilee. Hi, Wesley. Hi, Hi, Jean Lee. Real loud. What the truth is that And hi, Nanette. Hi, Nanette. Okay, I have to go now. Go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sarah is talking so much. Every day she talks on the telephone. Today she told the lady, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Is that what the lady said? Yep, she loves to talk on the telephone, right? I think maybe I, later, I think for your birthday, maybe you could get a telephone. That would be good, huh? Yeah. Sarah took her nap yesterday without crying. But today you cried. Oh, no crying. No, you can't hear this. You got a talking truck. <laughs> no crying on your nap. <laughs> Grandma went on the airplane. Pudama. Pudama? <laughs> Pudama. She's not here. She's all gone. Please. 
Where did she, where did she go? No. Um, let's see, what else is new? We had a deaconess meeting here today. I told them from now on I want to have them at um, our house. It's just easier and they don't seem to mind, so every time they've been coming here. Uh, Rachel's getting two more teeth, so she's just, uh, Rachel, since she's teeth. walking and got, Rachel. yeah, she's getting more teeth. She I just looks, teeth. yeah, I have a lot of teeth. Uh, you have 20 teeth. I mean, I mean another teeth. Yeah. I mean. Some of Amy's are falling out. Oh, about that. Um, tomorrow we're going over to my mom's, Pat and Matt are coming up, <laughs> and uh, we'll get to see them and uh, meet Elizabeth. My dad said this, that he's having a baby convention at his house this week. <laughs> I actually think he's getting excited about grandchildren. First time I've detected this in him. Um, he really is anxious for us all to come, which uh, he used to be that he kind of worried about the house and everything and what they would do to it, but he just had a birthday on Tuesday. I guess it was Tuesday the 12th. And, uh, yeah, it's Amy. And so anyway, he, maybe now that he's 62, I thought he was 63, which was highly, I was corrected very quick on that by him. <laughs> Uh, anyway, he, since he turned 62, he seems to be more grandfatherly. <laughs> Maybe that's the magic age. Anna, Anna. Um, boy, we will be very anxious to hear about Nanette and hope that that was just a passing thing and nothing serious. Um, and yeah, that's from Mindy. Not now, later. Anyway, um. We just really hope that, you know, everything is okay now and that that didn't develop into anything more than something passing by. Um, let's see, as far as news goes, uh, let's see, I told you we're going to Walnut Creek. That's about the biggest news. <laughs> and uh, see, this Monday, Janice is going to have that surgery. And... Uh, I gotta get busy because I'm gonna bake her a bunch of bread like she did for me when I was out of commission there for a while. Um, I'm gonna start baking it tomorrow, in fact. Since I got that big supply of flour. And it's also my job to get meals lined up for her, so I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow, calling people. Several people called me and said they wanted to do it, so it will be very easy to people. She's helped so many others that they want to kind of pay her back, I think. Uh, let's see. We really enjoyed you being here with us, and I know, uh, well, when we left the airport, uh, Sarah kept asking where you were, and uh, I know they would really like it if you were closer, well, we all would. So you'll have to come more often when you're retired here. <laughs> I know that's not easily done. But Marilee, we really all appreciate you being so generous with your money there. And uh, glad you know, that you provided a way for your mom to be here with us. But I really wish you could see Sarah and Rachel now before they get off. Americanized, but uh, you know we think Sarah's changed so much in the way she talks. But yesterday, during piano lessons, uh, she came in and said something to me, and I understood it. And the kid, one of the kids, said, uh, "How do you understand her? It sounds like Korean." So I guess she's not as Americanized as we think. We're just used to her. But um, she's doing real good, and Rachel and Amy. Uh, let's see. Mindy called last week. I think that was after you left. She was kind of sad, <laughs> but she's, I think, doing a little better. She said she's really doing good in her grades and stuff, and a few tests that she's had. So maybe things will get better. Uh, glad to hear, Marilee, you did really good at the flea market. And 
You know, when you look at the things that we looked at around here that people had in shops, I know that yours would be much better than that. And uh, if you even charged half the price that they ask around here, I'm sure you could make something off of it. So I'm really glad that you did pretty well. Um, tonight we're having a Sunday school meeting here. Dean and I are going to start back in the junior department next month, November. And uh, so we're going to have a meeting tonight to plan. Uh, people are really disappointed in Dean's Sunday school class. Um, several of the older people, too, that really like this Clarence a lot. And I thought they'd really be glad he was coming back just to have indicated they really are sad Dean is quitting this class. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot of people who are real disappointed. It was real funny. Last week, Dean told, said in the class that this would be his last Sunday. He said, you know, I never really felt like this would be... It was really my class. I was like a substitute. And it's really Clarence's class. Well, this Clarence's wife was sitting in front of me, and she just kept looking at her sister-in-law, which is Clarence's sister, and uh, kept saying, oh, no, he shouldn't feel like that. No. And everything she he said, she was just holding this conversation with her sister-in-law. And... Um, all the time Clarence is teaching, she does that too. It's like she goes, well, he sure doesn't do that at home. Or, you know, if you sit by her, she keeps this running commentary going, which makes it a little more interesting. <laughs> but I know she really is like Dean's class too, so I think she was kind of sad her husband was going to be the teacher. Um, let's see. Dean's kind of busy, but not overly so, as you know. We never get overly busy here. <laughs> and uh, he's, um, let's see, last week he had to go down to the junior college and he made a presentation to a college class down there on something about reading. And uh, he's, you know, got the Wednesday night Bible study and that's about all he's been doing. Uh, he's had a real bad cough that's kept him up. He has to sleep uh, halfway sitting up and he doesn't cough. It's just at night when he lays down, I guess it drains. And uh, Sarah and Amy, Amy had it worse, and Sarah has had it a little bit. So I don't know. It's not really like a, kind of comes and goes. So maybe if we got a good rain, it would kind of clear the air here. Really looking forward to winter time. Um, from according to the weather report, though, this whole weekend is going to be extra hot, so I don't know. They said no storms were in sight. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I really can't think of any more news. I'll just, um, maybe I'll just quit for now. It looks like the side's almost up. I, I am going, not going to bed tonight until this is completed because I want to send these pictures now so and I want you to know we're still alive here and uh, so maybe Dean will have some exciting news to say <laughs> I wouldn't count on it though but uh, I'll, I think I'll just stop for now I'll probably turn the tape over since it's near the end I did think of uh, one thing I just got that Born Again book back from Janice today and it's getting now so I can get a few things read here, so um, I'm going to start reading it, and there's a, another family that wanted to use it, so I wondered if it would be all right. If you want it back, just let me know, and I'll send it right away, but if not, maybe I'll let them read it. There's several in the family, so um, our church has it, but it's got such a long waiting list, so um, maybe I'll just uh, you know, tell them they can, well, I'll wait to hear. If you... Uh, I told him I'd check with you and see if you wanted it back, because you might want to reread or maybe you told somebody there. So uh, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll send it back after they're through. Well, I think I will turn this tape over, and then maybe we could um, think of a few more items here. So goodbye for now. Well, I guess I'll try to talk a little bit here and uh, see if I can't fill up a little bit of this. I think Bonnie said she'd like to try to mail this 
tomorrow. This is Thursday night, and we're gonna have a, a Sunday school meeting pretty soon, so some other people are coming over. I have uh, finished teaching the Sermon on the Mount on Sunday school, and I took over that class because that Clarence Eldridge was leaving, but he never really left. He was gone for a while. And he's back, so he's going to start. It used to be his class anyway. So he's going to be teaching it again. So I'm going to I'm going to go back and in the junior department there, just kind of kind of oversee it. Um, Bonnie used to work in there, and she's going to continue, but uh, I'll probably just like have an opening and. Bonnie will play the piano and do a few things in there. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, tomorrow then we're going over to Walnut Creek because Matt and Pat are coming up, so we'll do that tomorrow. Um, let's see, really not too much is happening here. I'm kind of busy at school. Um, I'm trying to do some stuff this year that to get something started that's new, so that takes a little bit of my time now. So I am keeping pretty busy. Uh, I sure do like, though, it's sure better not having to travel back and forth, though, boy, I really do like that. That is really, really so much better. There's a guy that kind of lives up here close to us. He teaches at our school, and so I may start riding with him and he with me about three days a week. He, um, he's a new teacher up here from Los Angeles area, so I guess I might start doing that. It'd be a little bit cheaper. It's about, I think about 40 miles round trip per day. So that will cut off a little bit. Um, uh, Bonnie and Amy and they're having a piano lesson, it sounds like. Um, let's see, me. I'll turn this off and see if I can't think of something so I can give you a little news here. Well, Rachel is walking like crazy. Boy, it seems like every day she just does better. She hardly ever crawls anymore. Now she just crawls when she absolutely kind of knows she has to. She uh, came into the room where you slept, Mom, and there's that step there. And the other, well, when she was just kind of started walking around pretty good, she stepped on that step one time and fell off down. And ever since that time, she uh, she comes to that, she automatically just starts crawling down the step. But other than that, boy, she goes all over. She, uh, she really, really gets around really, really good. So, uh, no doubt she will be getting into more stuff. We are... Uh, teaching her what no means and of course she doesn't go for that too much but that's just part of the process uh, I'll let you listen to a song that Bonnie and Amy are playing oh very good that was Bonnie and Amy Orr how about if you guys play it again because Grandma Orr didn't hear the whole thing. Okay, tell Grandma Orr the name of it. Mom. Amy is bashful. The song is called The Dance of the Gnomes, or, as we call it, The Dance of Pudama. <laughs>
Very good. And here is Rachel. Say hi, Grandma Orr. Say hi, Grandma Orr. Oh, no. Say hi, Grandma Orr. Say hello. <coughs> well, that was Rachel. Now we're going to go in and... Now we're going to go in and say hello to Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi. Fine. Bye. I'm taking a bath. Taking a bath. Hi, Grandma Orr. Hi. Say hi, Grandma Orr. Hi, Grandma Orr. Wow. Sarah is taking her bath, and here is Rachel. Oh, Rachel can't take a bath there, can she? What? Rachel's too little. Oh, Rachel's too little. Yeah, Rachel. Rachel takes it in a sink. Rachel takes it in a sink. Of course. She doesn't take a bath in the tub. But Rachel is just too little. Right. Sarah, you want me to wash you? Okay. I have to stop now because I'm going to wash Sarah and make her into a snow girl. I make her all white with a snope, and she looks like a little snowman. So I'll stop for now. Well, today is uh, Friday, October 15th, and uh, this is the day we're going to go to Walnut Creek, so I have to start getting some stuff ready. A little more involved, not even go to Walnut Creek, since Rachel needs all her paraphernalia, her high chair and stuff. Well, that's really about all we take. She sleeps on the floor over there. But, and with pampers, that makes going places a lot easier. Um, I did have to watch this Carol Nunley, the one that's divorced, that really knows. Um, she's going to school. And the lady that watches her little girl, who is about a year and a half old now, um, I was out of town, so I'm watching her today and Monday. It's just for a couple hours, but she gets here like at 7.30 and leaves about 10.30. So I, um, I kind of followed up my morning because her and Rachel are just uh, close enough in age that they, well, they both, you know, she just started walking not too long ago, this other little girl, so they were kind of going at it today. Not too bad, but... Had to be watched every second. <laughs> Rachel. Hi, can you say hi, Grandma? She's trying to climb up in this chair. Um, Rachel just woke up from her nap and had lunch. And it's almost 1 o'clock. She's been sleeping a lot in the morning. Um, no, you can't have that. Um. I really wanted to, well, I'm going to mail this tape today, and I'm not sure if I'll get it finished or not, because uh, they really, since yesterday, there's not that much news. <laughs> um, we're, let's see, I don't know if I told you we're having a dinner with you tonight here. It's, uh, they call it a progressive dinner, which it really isn't. Yep. Anyway, we're, I, they ask uh, certain people. You know, they just say who would have a dinner, and then they arrange who's going to come to the social committee. So I usually volunteer because it's a good way to have people come over that I'd probably never invite. Uh, and it's true this time. I hardly, I don't, some of them I don't even know what they look like. So um, I'm having that next Friday night. And I say, what's the most you could take? Well, I can seat 12 at our table, but it's crowded. So it looks like I'm going to have 12, counting us. Um, we, whenever we have this, I make uh, this beef burgundy stuff. It's like a glorified stew, and you serve it over rice. And I make a big salad and bread, and that's all. Usually if you have homemade bread, then people don't let us what else you have, so that's uh, to my advantage here. Um, so that's a week from tonight, and this girl just called me and said I'd probably have to have a few more people. I start out with nine. 
I'm having one widow lady and then Carol and then Lee's gonna be here, so. post office and I want to mail this and I know you soon hear a little bit from us is nothing <laughs> and uh, there just isn't that much more news that I could tell you I uh, you know might have someone to come back from Walnut Creek but I just really can't think of anything other than the weather is still hot and warm and nice more like summer than fall we are really Looking forward to seeing Pat and Matt and Elizabeth. I'm glad we don't have to wait till Christmas to see them. Uh, I was hoping maybe Mindy would come up as a surprise, but I don't think so because, you know, uh, Dave, Matt's brother now, is in Sonoma, which is a little bit, I think it's north of my mom, and a little bit more over on the coast. Just a minute, yeah. Want to say hi to Grandma? Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Sarah just brought out her big Raggedy Ann doll and is putting shoes on her. Uh -huh. And uh, Sarah and I washed our hair today, right? And we both have curly hair. Sarah looks very nice. Come here. Tell, oh, tell Grandma your hair is curly. Uh -huh. Right, looks very nice. Anyway, um, Dave, you know, is in Sonoma, and uh, they were going to go there yesterday, which was Thursday, and stay overnight. I don't know if Dave has seen uh, Pat and Matt's baby, but I think he has. I think she was born right before they left. And uh, so then they're going to come to my mom's today, so that's why I thought Mindy Fisher probably wouldn't come, because... She wouldn't probably want to go there, up to Dave's, I mean. So, anyway, I'll have to wait till Thanksgiving to see her. Well, um, I think I will close for now, and I'm really sorry this isn't finished. But I guess side and a half is better than no side at all. So, this is, uh, we're gradually working back into it. <laughs> So maybe if I if you look at it that way, it's our first one in many months. So we will uh, try to get one made more often. I, I know how much I like getting them, and uh, I'm sure you guys like to hear what we're what's going on out here. So we will try to be a little bit more regular at sending them and try to fill one up for sure next time. Um, so I think I'll close for now so I can get this ready to mail and I'll close the pictures too. And um, just um, want to say again how much, how happy we were that you got to come here and see Sarah and Rachel and, well, and the rest of us too. And we'll be looking forward to April and we'll be back again. So I'll say bye for now.